Evening everybody and welcome to another wee video. This uh, is a Jeep Grand Charity Cherokee. Uh, I think it's a 2005 or 2006 model. It's uh, the one with the V6 diesel engine. It's a Mercedes CRD engine. Uh, there we go. Grand Cherokee. So, a few wee jobs in this car. And, uh, Guy I know from me the other night there, it says there's diesel leaking out of his tank. So, there's the tank there, it's like a big coffin. So, uh, not too bad to take out, dropped out, it's just a uh, 618mm head of bolts there on, the, on those tabs. The thing about this is uh, the tank actually sits in this sort of cradle. So, over here. I can demonstrate. It just lifts it out of the out of that cradle there. So this is one of the times where you're actually glad that there isn't a big lot of fuel in it. So there's maybe about a gallon uh, in there. So the customer sensible enough. He ran the thing uh, till it was near enough dry. We'll take the rest of it out with that suction tank there. Uh, it's like a medivac type job, you know. So. Just go underneath the car here, just I just stuff it up in axle stands to do this. And uh load it down on a couple of jacks. So if I have a wee look, I'll just show you what you if you ever have to do this, what you're up against. So there is a big massive floor there. And there's your brake lines. And those are the back under side of that's a bit rusty. So there's a couple of uh that's the electrical connector to the fuel pump. You can't get at the fuel pump uh, underneath the back seat. There's no hole that you would get in the Volkswagen and Mercedes's and other cars. So there's that other big, that's a breather hose there. And the filler tank, oh, I'm gonna give it a knock there. The breather tank is, there's the torch away. This I'm doing this on my back. So, that's the, the filler, just the rubber hose held on my Ghibli clip. Uh, so back to this tank, uh, came from back under the car there. So, this tank's leaking, and the, the suspect point is down here, down in this corner. Uh, it harbors all the muck and uh, rubbish of the day in there, so I think that's where it is leaking from. So, uh, well, how do we look online? And there's boys selling. That's it. No, we can see it better there now. There's boys selling tanks. They're about eight hundred quid, or thereabouts, for this uh, this vehicle. And people even looking at five hundred quid for a second hand one. It's a Hefty big tank uh, for the size of the car. Um, I think it holds about 90 litres, so uh, I'm doing a bit of this out and uh, lift, this, lift this tank out of the cradle and see what we have. Okay. So, the fuel uh, removed from the tank, there's about 10 litres in it, so that's a, a drum left out of the way and uh, give, uh, give it a wee scrape. Just been sitting in all that muck and debris there, so uh, it's just right out of the way at that corner. So what I was worried about was the co this corner here where the seam is, but I think well, I think it's okay that part. And as you can see, I've got leaking for from a number of positions there. So one of them's finally. Uh, allow diesel to pass but just a wee scrape where I've seen the bubbles of uh, rust has uh, proved and shown these holes up and uh, they're very evident with the, the, the torch inside the tank at the minute so there's another wee one there so there's a number of powers to doing this and uh, <coughs> you st stay with me on the video and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to approach this Okay, back at this tank, and uh, 
this has proved to be uh, a real challenge getting this tank welded up. The welding is rough as you can imagine, but don't be too hard on me guys, this was an absolute pig of a job. That's a couple of bits of solder there, so I've done a wee bit of solder on some of these smaller holes and I've had to put these massive patches on it there. That uh, is etch primer on there, that's that stuff there, which is etch primer, so that'll lead into the bare metal a wee bit. Uh, basically had to take um, all the paint off and get on the decent metal. What the, what the thing about it was is this, is all the metal is pitted and corroded. So welding to it was uh, really, really uh, a challenge. And uh, so we had to just patch it and after patch. And then uh, because the welds are, uh, you're not able to really get a decent uh, pull going. So you got wee uh, pinholes in the welds and uh, whenever, I put uh, water into the tank and held it, uh, held it down. Uh, you got wee weeps, so you had to go over the wells again with uh, a bigger bead. So it ends up visually uh, awful, but uh, it's not going to be seen where where it is. Now, I'm just going to put your attention to the cause of all this. This is this cradle thing that I was telling you about. And it is absolutely full of all the muck and the rubbish that you can imagine. So that corner of that tank uh, has been sitting in this uh, debris and rubbish and muck and mud. And it's just sitting and just eats into the tank. Uh, the best way to describe uh, the result of that tank there was it was basically a tea bag <laughs> and uh, it was uh, bloody impossible to to weld so I had to introduce uh, three three separate plates and uh, weld them all together and uh, well we'll get this cleaned out we'll get a wee bit of get it dried off get a wee bit of underseal on it and uh, get this thing back together again that tank uh, is now not leaking, uh, definitely isn't leaking, so uh, held it upside down and uh, at, at that big angle there uh, with a couple of gallons of water on it and uh, made sure there's no, no, no weeps. Uh, I had to do that about, about half a dozen times uh, because the, the wee pin, any wee pinhole at all in the bead and she, uh, she leaked out. So there we go. Uh, but I'm happy enough that this tank will, will probably last the life of the car. So, uh, and as I say, really, really, that tank was really scrap, to be uh, honest. Uh, but um, we'll, we'll just manage to salvage it in that far corner. I really need that whole, that whole top end there completely rebuilt again. So, uh, yeah. Don't be too hard on me, but with the, with, the, with the looks of those welds, they are really, really bad. But uh, it's because I had to go over and over and over again. Uh, some amount of welding uh, to get that to, to, to stop leaking. Okay. Okay, last week bit of this uh, video here. This is our finished product, as it were. This is this uh, patched up, so with a couple of coats of extra primer on it. And, uh, <coughs> pardon me. A couple of coats of this stuff here, underbody saving. May as well use a little tin of this stuff. Uh, we nozzle blocks up, so it's, uh, may as well spray the leaf out of it. Spray it all around the uh, filler and tidy her up a wee bit in. So hopefully that'll uh, help to protect it uh, in the future. So we've cleaned all the rubbish and uh, all that out of this cradle. One thing I'll just tell you, uh, there are actually drain holes in this thing. And the other wee thing I noticed on this one, there was a big dinge in this corner, so that that uh, was actually uh, probably resting on the uh, on the uh, the corner of that. 
uh, fuel tank. So we have had a bit of a spray with that uh, under body seal. There's there's not really much you can do with this here apart from just clear all the muck out of it. It's still a uh, good bit of rigidity to it, but um, you know we're not gonna. You you could tip and wire brush all this stuff down and all that there. As I say the engine that probably didn't help. But um, what I will do at the finish of uh, this, to finish this fuel tank off, whenever. I give this, I'll probably just leave this to overnight the flash off. So I'll use a, a bit of this uh, VM tape, vinyl mastic tape. I don't know how you can, you can get that uh, where you are. It's made by Scotch. This is queer stuff. So it is, so it comes in this, uh, I think that's a 50 mil roll. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's used in the electrical industry. So uh, vinyl mastic, this, uh, there's a, a mastic on, the, on this, so it's not just ordinary tape, I'll just, just show you here, so there's actually thick mastic and that sticks like crazy and it's PVC there, so we'll put a couple of uh, a couple of rows across with that to keep to keep that off to keep that off the cradle. Now, just to, to close the wee video, uh, I'll just uh, mention something here. Uh, anybody that owns one of these Jeep Jeep Grand Cherokees, a wee bit of prevention is that uh, if you're ever power hosing the underside and the wee launch or something like that uh, of one of these. Um, this cradle sits in this position here, and it's it's open at this point, and that's how all the muck and the rubbish gets in there off off the road wheel. So just in front of your road wheel here, uh, you can get a power hose or a jet wash in there and get it down and get it down in the back of that cradle and soak that the top of that tank and uh, get all that water and break up all that debris and, and let it uh, let it drain out those drain holes uh, and and that'll hopefully maybe uh, prevent you from, or stop from uh, having the, the same problems of uh, what this guy did with this tank. This tank is generally in good nick, and as I said earlier on at the start of the video, we're telling the guts of a grand to replace this thing, uh, pounds sterling, so um, yeah, we've just sort of resurrected this, and the guy that owns the car just says, look, I'm not gonna spend a grand on that in this car. Car's probably not even worth. That's probably worth a grand or in around that. It's good enough. Good enough motor goes well. I did a, f a few wee jobs on it for him uh, to get it to MOT, but you know it's uh, generally in good condition. Goes well, starts well. Uh, we did the usual uh, oil seals with the engine in a previous video. You'll see it. That's this same vehicle that's uh, with the engine, the, the manifolds and stuff, and the turbos off. So that's this for this wee video. Many thanks for watching as ever and uh, hope this helps somebody with one of these jeeps. Uh, you know, what I would I'd strongly recommend is you get, the, you get that cradle cleaned out and just check to see if there's any dinges in the... any dings, dinges or whatever in the bottom of this. And that, uh, if there is, that means it's uh, pushing up into the tank and uh, uh, it'll, it'll, rust, it'll rot out the tank on you. So. Uh, yeah, if there is, if you see dangers in it, it may be worth weighing. Just drop it out and clean it out, even uh, manually, if you think it is full of debris. So, that's me saying off. All the best. Thanks for watching. Till the next video. Thanks very much, and good luck and bye-bye.